Hello, Jasmine Harding here, and it's early October 2023. It's beautiful, the, the weather is fantastic. You can see the kind of the, the pale blue skies here, very, very calm, and great weather for preparing for next year and the years to come. In fact, great weather to prepare for hundreds of years to come. And this is what I'm going to talk about today. This is an acorn from an oak tree. You can see it's still in the cup. And this is no ordinary acorn. This is an acorn from one of Ireland's ancient oak woods, an oak wood in County Offaly in Charleville, just outside Tullamore. Now, this is believed to be a site for ancient indigenous Irish oak. So it's not imported from the Netherlands or Germany or England or anywhere else. They're believed to be Irish oak and the species is Quercus rober or pedunculate oak, sometimes called English oak. The other native oak is sessile oak, which is found in upland areas like in, in County Wicklow, um, usually in, on fairly dry acidic soils. But this is pedunculate oak, it's a lowland species. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna show you. It's still in the cup, I'm just gonna take it out of the cup like that, and if it yields easily, that's what you want. You want it just to come out very very easily so here's our acorn here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to plant this and I'm going to show you a one-year-old plant and a three-year-old plant so we come over here and here's my pot nothing special about it holes in the bottom for drainage and um, I have some leaf litter here and what's the leaf litter for well a lot of our tree species like to grow in association with fungi and leaf litter helps with that. So I am going to mix it in with my compost here, a bit of compost, and I'm going to start filling in the, the pot with the compost. And why oak? What's, what's so important about oak? Well it's a really long-lived tree so it provides shelter and food for wildlife for hundreds of years to come. And the other great thing about oak is it's one of our most important native plants. It supports over 300 species of insect. And when you consider that some thing like sycamore, which is not native to Ireland, supports maybe half a dozen, you can see the importance of native planting. Now, a leaf litter here, I'm gonna mix it in well mixed. So, so that's seeding out of there. And then I'm going to put in a bit more compost. You can overfill it if you want because it'll, it, will, it will actually settle. Now, what am I going to do next? Now, this is really easy to do. Just get your acorn and just literally place it on the surface like that, horizontally, not like this or like this, just horizontally, and just push it in, about its own depth in soil, a bit deeper, and cover it. And that's it, really, really simple. Now, just to explain further why I'm doing this, here, here's the book, the Irish Butterfly book, which I've written, and here is the Purple Hair Streak Butterfly. And this butterfly here breeds exclusively on oak. So, this in itself is a reason. That's the brown hair streak, and this is the purple hair streak. I'm, I'm blaming my cameraman on this grave error, but here's the purple hair streak here, here's the male. And if I go over the page, there's the female there, and there's the underside. And you can see it has a silvery underside, even though it spends its life among green leaves. And that's because the leaves become coated in aphid honeydew and that turns silvery in bright sunlight, so it's actually well camouflaged. It blends in well. So, uh, uh, the purple hair streak relies exclusively on oak, and not only is it good for the purple hair streak butterfly, it's good for our moths like the brindle green, um, the pale pinion, the beautiful marvel de jour, um, the chestnut moth, and a range of other species, the oak tortrix moth as well. 
which is a, a, which is appropriately enough it is, it is it's, it's actually oak green. Now, here is a one-year-old oak. I planted this last year, also from Charnival Forest, and you can see this is one year, and you can see it's you know it's a nice straight trunk on it, and over here is a three-year-old plant. And this is really ready for planting out. Um, it will be planted out when it's dormant, when the leaves are gone. You can see it's quite a substantial plant and this is only three years old. So it does work. Oak germinates really, really successfully. So I would call on you now to get out to your countryside, collect acorns and they can be green or brown when you plant them. Just if, if it won't dislodge easily from the cup it's not ready. If it dislodges easily from the cup, it's ready for planting. And plant oak. It's for our future, for our future biodiversity, for climate change, all good reasons to do it, and wonderful food for purple hair streak and also for a number of our moth species. So I'd encourage you all to get out there. We need more native woodland. Get out there and do it. And get your native indigenous Irish oak. Try and get them from old woodland. The new woodlands tend to be often grown from continental sources. Thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed this clip.